Hey, it's Griffin Sarah, and we're at an unknown cemetery. In Stillwater, New York. <laughs> Is that where we are? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Sarah said we had to go out because it's nice. It's the last, <laughs> last I, said, night. I said, put your pants on, we're going <laughs> we're out. We're going out. So. It's the only nice day this week, and I have um, a sense that we are going to find a cemetery of interest. So I've gone by a couple of times now, and I keep checking it out, but, you know, well. not until you get into it, do you really find that, you know, you've got a good one or you've got a bus. So we'll see. Well, the thing about it is, is we're on the frontier side of the river, so... It had just been wild over here. Uh, actually, it's been probably civilization of natives, but uh, not not uh, guys putting stones in the ground after burying them. So. Well, but now we are in the area where anybody who was affected by the Revolutionary War actually got displaced too. This was the safe space down here in Stillwater, and so there was a lot of wealthy landowners that came down, and they were there with their children and wives and consorts and whoever else. And well, we're looking for Zerubbabel's. We'll see if he got across the across yeah. the river or not. So, here we go. Like the porcupines. Like the porcupines. Ah. So, uh, we decided to go down to Stillwater and uh, see if we could find something really old. No, we just at the Baker Cemetery and that's about 1810, somewhere in there. You know, we're on the west side of the river, so things are a little different over here, but we may have found something. This is a, is a beautiful stone, 1789. And this was in memory of the Reverend Robert Campbell, who departed this life February 19th, 1789. He was 80. Beautiful face. Looks <clears throat> like we got a whole bunch of these stones, but they are not Zerubbabel. There's somebody else. Zerubbabel uh, Collins seems to cut off at the river, well, at least as far as we can tell. They do look like they're made by the same carver. So there must have been a little population here pre-1800 on this side of the river. Of course, it was considered the frontier back then. All right, we got one here from 1801. It's still got the willow uh, in the urn style, or the morning style, which is usually uh, 1800 and beyond. Well, it's got an interesting shape. We haven't seen one like this before. This guy's pretty cool. Uh, he's 1811. Looks like a little building, actually. And he's got a footstone to match. You can see it beyond there. The shorter one is the same shape. Oh, well, it's broken at the top. So we have an 1822 stone that has a footstone. We were wondering in the car when they stopped using footstones. There's a point where footstones kind of come out of play. And it's just the other headstone for the next grave over, usually. That's very different. Yeah, we got a cherub uh, style face here. Uh, and it's what, 1819? 1819. Yeah, that's, that's unusual. But it's also done a lot different, and it's on an urn style stone. Some of you guys have been banging on about fences to keep us out. Well, fences there to keep them in. That's how it go. Yeah. <laughs> Remember guys, like and subscribe. <laughs>